Hello everyone, this is a paper mache um, piece that I have, uh, I got this actually from Goodwill. I'm going to paint this with the Art Minds Espresso and I will just apply one coat with this paint. And you can see uh, it's more comfortable uh, for me to use the fine brush. So once I am done with the uh, painting, I have this wooden egg form from Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of, I just forgot how many pieces, but this is from Dollar Tree. I will paint it with the same uh, paint, which is the Art Minds um, Espresso. And I will just apply one coat. Then I will set it aside after drying it. Now, you can see on the video that I have this rice paper and I'm going to tear the sides. Uh, it is easy to tear the sides if I'm, going, if I'm going to use the water pen that I bought from Amazon. And if you don't have the water pen, you can use the small, uh, just a small brush, dip it in water and dab it onto the area where you want to uh, to tear so that it will be easier for you to tear it and then applying the mud podge after it um, I will glue the rice paper onto there and I am going to uh, sand it using a sander from Amazon now I'm going to use this dark antique wax by bear that I bought from Home Depot I will use um, um, eyeshadow brush to just lightly brush it onto there to make it look distressed but if you don't like distressed look just skip this process and on the video you can see Excel Shore I bought this from Amazon and I will just put it inside the basket and lightly brush it with the dark antique wax by Bear that again to look it look uh, to make it look distressed so if you don't like distressed look, you don't like vintage look, just skip this process. Um, I always say that every time I have, uh, I'm doing a distressed look. So after the uh, Art Minds uh, Espresso, uh, just one coat and it's dry already, I'm using this tea light. I rub it onto this piece and I will uh, paint this with the Waverly Ivory, just one coat. And... Uh, once I dry this, I will just uh, make this, um, I'm going to use the heat tool that I bought from, from Amazon and I will be using um, a packaging tape. I crumple the packaging tape and then just dab, dab, dab there onto this piece and you can see that it really looks so distressed. So you can see while I'm dabbing it, it really changed the... Uh, the finish it really looks so vintage it's uh it looks so chippy and it looks so cute and now i have this again using this um dark antique wax i will just lightly brush it onto there this time i'm using the chip brush a small chip brush to do that because i really would want this to look like it's very old you know because this is it look it is an egg half egg basket so on the bottom, I make it a little darker and just there are parts that I make it darker and parts, uh, areas that I like it just lighter. So I have these three plastic eggs from uh, Dollar Tree. I just painted it with the uh, Waverly Cashew and I just love how it looks like, uh, um, you know, because it really looks like a real egg and i just lightly brush it again with the dark antique wax because you know eggs they really are like they look dirty okay so if you like it clean looking so don't use the dark antique wax and i will start to just glue it right in the middle the three eggs so this is a very pretty basket this time and i will make um, a little or a small bow and uh, this bow or actually the cloth here came from um, Hobby Lobby blood cloth and I already have coffee stained it if um, you have other colors or other designs of cloth you are free to use it you know uh, I'm just uh, uh, giving you an idea of how I decorate this um, paper mache um, 
basket. So I will just put a cheesecloth there. Like I said, I already coffee stained it. If you like to know the um how I did the grunge mix, please message me. Please comment. Um uh, put your message on the comment section and then I will just sandwich the Excel chore here um, just in between uh, the cloth so there will be a little of accent and I really love how this craft turned out I hope you love this as well um, I made this craft before I went for a vacation and I'm doing the voiceover just now so if like I said if you like this uh, craft please go to my main page please click like and then give me a follow because once you follow me you will be notified when i go live and then you will be updated of my craft uh it will just uh you know um it will just appear in your in your on your page and uh this time i'm going to i'm looking for the right spot here where i'm going to put the bow and i'm going to tie it right in the handle so it will not come off it will not fall off and you can see it really changed so nicely. So this time uh, I'm just fixing the bow. I'm making it look fluffy and it really looks so nice. And I will put here a um, small button just to accentuate the bow. And this time the rice paper that I put in that uh, wooden egg from Dollar Tree, I will just glue it there. I put actually um, tumbling blocks on, on the back so that it will stand and it looks like a picture of it. You know, it's really nice because it those were eggs and I have a picture of the, the chick and it's very um, lovely to see. And I just lightly brush the Excel shore with the dark antique wax again. So I'm just putting some of the Excel shore there uh, just to cover the empty spaces. So that's my uh, finished craft, everybody. I hope you love this. It's really a nice craft. And if you know how to make paper mache basket like this, you, you can do it. I just found this actually in Goodwill. So I just found this like very, very pretty uh, basket. So that's the finished craft. I hope you love this craft, everybody. Like I said, please go to my main page, please click like, and then give me a follow. So that is a very awesome kind of graph. I hope you love this. And thank you all so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you love this video. You love this graph. Thank you. And this is the finished graph, everybody. Very nice. So pretty. I love the chick. I love the how I set up the basket. Thank you. And till next time.